Welcome to King David Ministries with Reverend Eddie Royal Sr. Here is Reverend Royal. Well, praise the Lord. This is the day that the Lord has made. I will and you should rejoice and be glad in it. Because if you think about it, all we do have is now. I remember when my uncle, uh, uncle Shell, uh, my Dorothy's husband, said years ago, and I think he even wrote a poem about it. He says, when tomorrow gets here, it's still today. Yesterday, it's still now. It's still today. And I read a book about the power of now. And I think what we need to do, and I, through meditation, they talk about focusing on now, being in the present. And we're going to touch on that in, in a minute because the Word of God says, at least Satan get the advantage of us. For we are not ignorant of his devices. I, in the past, we have been talking about, I know we've been talking about faith. We're going to get back on that. Actually, we're still on it. Then we spoke on aspects of, uh, the sh I call them short circuits to faith as we grow. We already know that we do have the measure of faith. That is, if we are a child of the Most High God. Once we have accepted the Lord as our personal Lord and Savior, according to Romans 12, 3, we do have a measure of faith. But then we got into the aspects of living also from the inside out, a living from the inside. And then we talked about, about us as spirits. You got to realize that we are spirits. If, if Jesus said that God is a spirit, and if anybody knows who God is, it's Jesus. And he said that God is a spirit. However, according to the word of God, when he created us, he created us in his image and his likeness, but when he created the world, which is his for his creation. He gave us just the body the, from the dirt, but he blew, which means that the spirit of God, the inside of him, went into Adam. So we are spirits in dirt as we did our study in regards to humus man, spirit and dirt. As I said before, if you're looking at me right now, you have authority. Even if, you don't, if you're not a Christian, you have authority. But the best thing to do is be born again. Because the creator, he created you. But not your body. Your, your parents give you a body. But that is a way into this realm. Amen. But now, that's what we are. We are spirits in dirt. The word of God says in Thessalonians, that may your whole spirit and soul and body be preserved blameless unto the coming of the Lord. We, we touched on that, but also we said something about other than living from the inside, inside, because of, let me say this, when we pray or anything, it's not out here, because according to, I think it, Corinthians 4, 4, verse or second, he said that Satan is the God of this world. And if we are Christians, you made Jesus the Lord in your life, you ain't got nothing coming out here. But he has made us over the years think that through teaching, even in the church, that should not have been. Mm -hmm. We're talking about the word, but the word says that we are three part type beings on the inside. Again, as we had said, that our spirits are so huge about the madman. He had a legion of demons, which is 3,000 to 4,500. That's how big we are, maybe bigger than that. If you got that many demons in you, however, if you are a born-again believer, he cannot put those demons in you because your spirit man, which 
is the word of God says is the first fruits of your recreated human spirit has been created and has been reborn. So he can't do that. But you can be demon oppressed if you don't know what's happening. Because at least Satan get the advantage of us. For we're not ignorant of his advices. And God even said that my people are destroyed for a lack of knowledge. So we walk by faith and not by sight. Our, our faith is in there, but it has not been developed. But that's how big we are. We're just like God. Matter of fact, I think in um, Psalms 82, 5, uh, he said, 82, 5 and 6, first of all, he said, I said you were gods. If dogs have puppies and cats have kittens, God got to have small little g. In other words, well, you said, no, you're in the God class. You got to be. You have to be in the God class. You have to be. Amen. Because if, if, if the word says you're made in his likeness and in his image, that means the exact duplicate. And the devil cannot create. I don't care what nobody say. He can only pervert what is there. And that's what happened when Adam fell and gave Satan the authority. And Jesus had to give it back. That's why Jesus did not argue with him on the Mount of Temptation. He, and, but in Luke, he said, all this will I give you in the glory of it. Showed him all the kingdoms of the world in a moment of time. If you bow down and wish me. Jesus didn't even argue with him. Because Adam had sold the least to him. And, and you know for a fact, well you should know, that Satan, I mean, had no business with that kind of authority. And you see what he did, he, he started messing up. Just like the previous administration had no business being in that position. And you see what happened. And I don't even like looking at it, but even with the response of the pandemic. It came out yesterday, I could only look at so much of it. But he said, he already, they had already knew. But power and money. They did not care about people's lives, but hanging on to power and money. And over a hundred and some thousand, of eight hundred and some thousand people are dead for that. But they, you, they got to pay for it. You're going to pay for it. You reap what you sow. You could have stopped it, but you didn't. So we got it into that, that we are spirits. And then, but we talked about Jesus. And but but and 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 before I get to that, which is Jesus, our perfect example, I want to. You remember I, I I said something that the pastor said that uh, I I said Pastor Royal said that two things I can tell you about my experience and what I've learned, and I and I put it out there. My experience, what I've learned. Everybody knows I've been going over my background. I used to be an addict. I'm not really an addict. I used to use a lot of drugs, substance abuse. I was not an addict. The Lord corrected me on that. I didn't go and knock anybody in the head. I didn't, if, if I didn't have a drink, I just didn't have it. I never got the DTs. I never got that. But I did use a lot of substance abuse and could have been dead and gone. But thanks be to God. So I put that out there. So I'm going to share with you a few minutes about what I have learned of the, in a, a few days. Amen. Psalms 24, very familiar passage. So I think we read it previously, but it, it bears repeating in Psalms 24. The earth is the Lord's and all is fullness for the world and those who dwell therein. For he has founded it upon the seas and established it upon the waters. Who may ascend into the hill of the Lord, or who may stand in his holy place? He who has clean hands and a pure heart, who has not lifted up his soul to an idol, nor sworn deceitfully. He should receive blessing from the Lord and righteousness from the God of his salvation. This is Jacob, the generation of those who seek him, who seek your face. Lift up your heads, O ye gates, 
O oh, you gates, and be lifted up, you everlasting doors, and the King of glory shall come in. Who is the King of glory? The Lord strong and mighty, the Lord mighty in battle. Lift up your heads, O oh, you gates, lift up you everlasting doors, and the King of glory shall come in. Who is the King of glory? The Lord of hosts. He is the King of glory. Say, Law. Glory to God. Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you for the word of God. For the anointing of the word, you said that your word is forever settled in heaven. And as David said, uh, Father, I thank you that my tongue is as a pen of a ready writer. That your will be done, not mine. I must decrease, you must increase. Father, that you know who's out there that will give a message to your people. In Jesus' mighty name, amen, 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 amen. A few days ago, as... I was outside, I was getting ready to prepare him, uh, for, uh, for that day. And I was going through, you know, you, you're going through some evolutions. You, you start ch changing in, in certain spots. The Word of God says uh, in uh, Romans 12, 1, And do not be conformed to this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind. On that instance right there. I never heard that coming up, that just because I got born again, this was not our thinking, neither was our flesh. That's what Paul said, I keep my body under and bring it to, to subjection, not God, because you and I have authority. So as I was going through some things, and you know, a lot of times it's good to think about what do you uh, or monitor, rather. What are you thinking about? What are you thinking about? A lot of people don't realize that. Now, as I begin to see some things that I needed to correct, and remember, the devil is subtle, and he'll keep things under the radar. Watch this. Watch this. Listen, especially for you that have been on drugs and alcohol, pastor needs to tell you this so you'll know. Because the word of God says that my people are destroyed for a lack of knowledge. And I put it out there. Now it's up to you what you do with it. But I know you have, many of you have experienced this. Especially being on substance abuse. If you got hooked up on drugs and alcohol. As you know. Crack has you spent. I say more money than heroin. Because once I heroin addicts hits themselves you notice they they like stop for a while not a crack addict see the body needs to know this and I tried to share that with some preachers especially one preacher that I know well he wasn't interested wasn't interested at all it's pitiful it, 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 it was not and but smoking crack oh, you can't after you cross that invisible line as they say you can't stop yes on and on and on and on and on. You know, past people that have lost houses, cars, th their self-esteem, being become homeless, everything, because that pleasure system. But you get programmed. Remember one thing when it comes to Satan. The third of his angels was kicked out of heaven. But they don't have enough demons to circle the globe. He's not omnipresent. God is. He's everywhere at the same time. Don't try to figure it out because God is God. That's why he created us. He already knows what we think. If he created, he ought to know what you're thinking before you even think it. Amen. But the devil don't. The only way he knows what you're thinking they're going to do is when you open your mouth. That's what the word of God says. Amen. Satan is shooting for your tongue. Your tongue is a rudder. Huh? And he's shooting to find out if he puts a thought in there or you've been programmed, then what he's watching for because Satan watches for words. This planet was created by God by words and so do you and I. But we blurt out some, and they need to know if they put anything in it or if the program comes up, you start talking. Die knows. Because he can't read your mind. He may, if the demon is there, he may put all other power. He might put a thought there, but it's up to you to bring it out. 
that a lot of times, oh, and a lot of times, it's best if you're going through something, if that person is not there, be quiet. That's what they are. Oh, glory to God. That's why they say, put a watch over my mouth. Because if that person that you, that maybe that uh, you need to agree with prayer, okay, because we're talking about co collaborative prayer or, or, or the prayer of agreement, I got this issue. I just need prayer. And you go to somebody, if they ain't where you are, they're going to, they we're just going to talk you out of it or something like that. So the best thing to do is be quiet. Just be quiet. Don't, don't, don't say nothing. Hey, you got your father. Go to him. But if you want to have prayer, amen, get somebody that will agree with you in, 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 in prayer. So that's how they realize what you're thinking. They can put it in there, but they can't read it. Which reason is that? Now, and I was thinking about that as I was going through things. And again, you've been programmed over years about the drugs, the alcohol. Now, as a program going in your subconscious, you get delivered and set free. But now, there is a spendthrift thing there. Watch this. That might be there for 30 years and you don't even know it, but you spending to get into situations and wonder but you don't think about it but that's why because if you remove something it's got to be replaced with something now the devil is is, is thinking all right number one he he you got to live it you made up your mind because it ain't no big thing to get delivered he said, why your heart between two? All you got to do is make up your mind. That's it. But this, first of all, is this. If you're homeless, if you're on skid row, wherever you are in the world, it's nothing but make up your mind. That's it. That's all. The only reason people are on skid row is because the bar is up here. You can walk out of skid row anywhere you are right now, but it's right here. It is right here. So all those years undercover, it's been there. And you're doing things unknowingly. Okay. But when now you kind of find out. Wait a minute. Hold it. What's going on? And you start to put on the brakes. You got a problem. Because first of all. Your subconscious. saying so. If I take a piece of paper. A straight piece of paper. And I wrinkle it up. And I put it down. But now. I take it and try to straighten it out. Watch that. The paper will try to go back to where the wrinkles are. And that's what it wants to do. You've been thinking undercover and in the subconscious or the deep for so long. For so long. Now when you try to straighten it, it it's like a car. It wants to rebel. It wants to rebel. I'm telling you what I know. And listen to Pastor. Listen to me. Information now, and as I said before, I'm just out about out of time. It's one thing for information. We read the word of God through information, but we now need revelation. That's what we need. We need revelation. Now, as I said, now it's starting to rebel, and it's going to rebel, especially up here, because you have the authority. The word of God said you gotta keep going. I don't care. And if you see something, whether you pull out or not, especially for you that have been delivered and set, and, and set free. Look, listen, that's what's that. And here's what the Lord said before I get to that. When I was sitting there and things that I was changing, you know what I heard? Not in my spirit, but what I heard is that, hmm, this is, this is true. This is about two days ago. Who do you think you are? I own you. You can't. Now, in the first place, he does not. Saints, listen to me and listen well. Because the word of God says that we have the mind of Christ. Let this mind be in us that was in Christ Jesus. Because of the fact that the power is in our spirit, but in order to get it out, just like for healing, it's got to get past that soul. Your mind, your will, your emotion, your desire, your intellect. 
and God won't violate your will. He's got to be, that's what the word says, you got to be renewed in order to get it out. Because we are supposed to be supernatural people. Hey, who do you think you are? I own you. The devil actually thought things, even though he knows he's a liar. He knows that he, especially for a Christian, that he does. But because we've been, the word of God says that the carnal mind is there, the spiritual mind is life and peace. Huh? That he, but through his sick thinking and the way he is, if actually think because we always, we, you know, we get sick. We won't try to get our healing. We won't, uh, we get the, uh, the, the money. The word of God, everything that is, is basic instruction before leaving earth. Huh? This is, this is our kingdom. What we, and that we ain't using it by the power of faith. And, and, and we had again this idiot actually thinks that he's got us under the radar sickness disease poverty this that one another I'm worried and even the, the word of God talks about worry take no thought or do not worry about tomorrow for tomorrow will take it he actually thinks he on you even though you're a Christian that's what I got you gotta we gotta pull out of it and especially for you that Oh, glory to God. Especially for you. I'm telling you what the dark told me to tell you. Amen. Especially for you that have been delivered and set free. Amen. That's what's going to happen when you start pulling out. Uh-oh. But the Bible says when you've done all the stuff, keep pushing forward. Now. And again, for the body of Christ, and especially... Pastors, we need it. We need it. Talk to because now they're coming, and they, and if they're coming to the church and and they're going through this, you need to know how to minister to them at that. Not the money. That's coming. He said, if you seek me for that, all that's been. There. Listen, there was a movie that I that I saw years ago as a teenager, but it came out called The Greatest Story Ever Told by Jesus, the life of Jesus. Very good movie. You need to look it up. The greatest story ever told. But when he got ready to start his ministry, he got to, he told his disciples after he had picked up, he said, our work will start. Such and such and such and such. But the biggest thing I figure that, that has happened, okay, is our assignment and the mission. I, I remember looking at the Crimson Tide. And he, and I'm an ex-Navy man. And it was uh, Gene Hackman and Denzel Washington, which was his second in command, was Denzel. Okay, but he talked about tell, telling Denzel about if you ever want to ship one day, about your mission and your men. Pastors, the mission. What is the mission and the people? Your mission. I don't know what your mission is. I know what I, my assignment is and is getting is out there. That's what I got to do. The mission. But the Bible says, amen, you ran well, but who hindered you? About the truth, I'm, I'm not going to get to what I wanted to get to. But who hindered you? Did you not believe the truth? You started off well. We started off doing what we supposed to do. We started off listening to God. But turn well down the line. We talk about our mission and our men. It's about the mission of Jesus Christ. He said, on this rock, I'll build my church. Pastors are under shepherds. He is the chief shepherd. What is the mission? And we lost that. I didn't say all, but most of us have. But most of us have been business, pleasure, money, prestige. That's why that pandemic has messed up a lot of because it was a lot of going to by pastors and going to churches and being with a lot of pastors and in pastoral days. There's nothing wrong with that, but I know how that works. Okay, and then but but everybody else, because I know I have I have friends that I was raised with, and I I ain't in there. I'm not in there in their in their circle. You can't do that. Jesus never did. Prove to me what he did. The mission. The mission. 
but it's all nice about a lot of but it was the pandemic before the pandemic it was going to churches this that this that one another thank you reverend okay uh if i mean going to here going to there but the mission i didn't say uh, was lost the mission the mission amen and he is our perfect example even first peter 5 10. watch this and especially for you that have been delivered some of you Pat, some of you soon as you come off skid row or wherever you had in the world well god calls you to the ministry listen things are going to happen but keep going keep going because where i am right now that's where he said he, he learned by the Jesus learned by the things he suffered. He was four fifteen. We do not do not have a high priest that cannot to be touched with the feelings of our infirm. He was five eighteen. But the things that he suffered was we have a high priest. Now watch this. I said we're three part type being, beings. The three people got bodies in heaven. That's Enoch, Elijah. But when Jesus is sent, it's Jesus. Watch this. He is sin because when he walked through that wall, he told Thomas, he said, hand on me. A spirit does not have flesh and bone. Not flesh and blood. He had the glory of God. And that's what we'll get when he comes. Flesh and bone, like you see me at. We got a, a savior and our brother because he is at the right end with a body. Like mine. It's just that he got the glory of God. That's why he can be touched with the feeling of our infirmities. The mission. The mission. The mission. I I, I don't know. I, I, I've been I've been I've been saying this and then, and you know what? I say this, I'm just about out of time. Some I I think that I've been going through, but when I think about money, when I think about if I win. I, uh, there's a certain position maybe money maybe prestige maybe the the Lord has continued to remind me don't do that he said if you seek me first this will be it it's the mission why because we have the body the only authority Jesus has until he comes back is the body of Christ we've got to override the, uh, 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 because Satan is the god of this world, ain't no way in the world are you gonna change. Watching that, I don't care how many folks get on CNN, NS, MS, and anywhere, and you can talk all you want, but until you get God on the scene, whether it be the midterms, anything else, they'll take it. But if you get God on the scene, they can't take it. And don't worry about how it's gonna happen. But get God. Let's get God on the scene. And change them folks. Hopefully you get them saved. They can't be saved the way they're acting. Money. Power. That's all they care about. But we have to buy that Christ. Same thing. Some. Money. Power. That's it. But the pandemic put a lot of stop to that. Hmm. So, I'm, so these are the things that I've shared with you. I'm just about out of time. It's just about out of time. He doesn't know you. But he thinks he does. But now it's time to press forward. You can be delivered right now. And if you are delivered and you're going through something right now, stay on, stay on, stay on it. Because even now, where, where I am right now, I'm out here. And the sons of the saints have told me I can't. I'm talking, I ain't talking about street people. I'm just about to But I'm talking about church folk. Okay, I'm, we're, we're at the Sinesta Hotel. We're doing this and we're doing that. They tell me I can't. Why are you spending money? Who said I was spending money? Why? When you should be encouraging somebody, whether it be me or somebody, if you feel your faith can get you out there, I don't care if your ministry costing $10,000 a week. Pray for them, get them out there. You can't do what you're spending money for like that for. Saints of God. The discourage. They don't know that they be in you. I'm out of time. We'll talk to you on next week tomorrow. Tomorrow. Amen. I want you to watch for a, a, a man, Sister Geraldine Chandler and the 
get in the Jezebel spirit, and that's what's happening in the church. Amen. Tomorrow at 3 o'clock at the Sinesta Hotel. We'll see you then. Bye bye. King David's ministry is Reverend Eddie Royal Sr. The ministry can be heard every Friday night at 8 p.m. Pacific Standard Time on KTYMGospel.net.